So, when we are ready to offer any impressions into the group chalice, please raise your hand and Alexander will unmute you. I see one hand of Kim. Kim? Uh, Kim, please unmute yourself. Hi. Um, I'm in New Zealand. Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, that I found the information on the Jewish race very interesting. And I felt like I was being described. <laughs> Um, and I could definitely relate to the superior and inferior, because maybe a lot of people can anyway. Um, as far as the meditation, um, I mean, the whole thing here at the moment, like probably many places, is, um, uh, um, you know, vaccine, um, COVID. Um, we've been divided into, you know, segregated into two. <laughs> you know um what's the word to um groups um so unvaccinated people can't do what the vaccinated people can do so on the etheric level i saw it's hard to remember everything actually but um disconnection and an emptiness and on the astral level a lot of fear a lot of anger uh, hopelessness, exhaustion, um, <clears throat> on a mental level, confusion, and, and, and it's hard to say whether this is mental or astral, but fed up, apathetic, and a certain amount of head in the sand. Uh, people are just really, really fed up with uh, what is going on. Um, and what on the origin, you know, looking at the deeper origins, what came up um, what, for me was uh, the 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 Pakiha, which is the white people coming in to take over the Maori, the the um, original people of the land. So that's, that's what I what I have to share. Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Kim. Mm. Hi, this is Efra <clears throat> from Jerusalem. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Greta, Helen, and Uta. It was a very deep and rich session. And I will ju just share with you about the I heard during the meditation not about the content and the details, and which were very rich. And I could I could see or I could observe that uh, in each uh, direction that you gave Uta, what came first was my like concrete knowledge. I, I tried to 
to focus. What, what came first is uh, ah, what do I know about the mm -hmm. the color, and then uh, I took it again up or or to the um, to the observer, and and then try to imagine it from a different uh, angle. And uh, in the end, in, in all in the physical, emotional, mental uh, fields, uh, the end of the process or the, the point that I went into uh, was to take everything into my heart and just mm -hmm. uh, try to to be more, to listen more to the, or to feel more the, the energy. Uh, and it was very strong. So uh, mm -hmm. I think there is a lot of information that we can uh, get when we combine between the concrete knowledge we have, the way we try to imagine it, and, and then to put it into our heart with the light of the soul. So some very delicate maybe you can call it very delicate picture of the nation can comes out. So thank you. It was an mm -hmm. amazing experience. Thank you. How was the experience for you, Efrat, when we were all standing, um, holding space for the Jewish group? I cried. <laughs> hmm. I felt mm. like um, like a ne neglected child that all the other oh, children wow. say, okay, you can come and play with us. And oh, uh, wow. he has had this, um, he's, he's not sure he can trust in this hand, the sense for him, but really this yearning to play with all the other kids. Wow. Thank you. Well, thanks for sharing this effort. Yes, <clears throat> I'm Greta. I'm in the Danish group, and um, that's my work today. Uh, and I'm in the Klangsjal as well. And uh, now today, when I looked about out uh, out uh, in Denmark. I had the same feeling as you, Efrat. It's very difficult to uh, see. You, you have a concrete knowledge, and then you have to go beyond that and go deeper and deeper in to see the background for the whole thing. <clears throat> and I realize it's much easier for me to be in the club shadow, seeing it from outside in a way. <laughs> then now I'm part of it here in Denmark, uh, and and uh, it's a, a, a quite another feeling. And um, I'm part of the mental uh, field, and I'm part of the uh, the astral field. Um, it was interesting to look at uh, the the physical body of, of our nation to see all the landscapes and the uh, rivers and 
it starts with very big rivers in Denmark, but uh, to go beyond and, and have another expression here and to see where have we grounded, from where do, do we have those sort forms today? That's very interesting and I'm looking forward to go deeper and deeper into that, to have another uh, feeling about uh, our country here. We have a group of four pe persons and we have a, a very deep work to do here. I'm looking very much forward to do it. Hmm. But it's much more difficult in our own country. I must say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very important observation. And um, yeah, that brings uh, this point up that also Asajoli in his uh, in his writings he has uh, stressed it about national psychosynthesis. It's important to have in this group of best citizens or best um, yeah this conscious self of of a nation that it is made up not only of people from this nation, but also from people from outside, because there, there is a completely, yeah, there is a, is a freer, a freer perspective that can often um, round out or, yeah, comp complement um, the impressions of people who are within it. And it's very interesting indeed about uh, the origins of national platforms, same as Greta. No, that was my experience in the meditation. Suddenly it was just like a light it up, uh, like, aha, uh -huh, what that, that's where it comes from. So I wonder if there anything, any technique that we can use working with those thought forms when we see the origins and what, what, yeah. why is that mm -hmm. That's important. Yes, thank you for, for mm -hmm. that, uh, Sasha. Yeah, that's a very, very deep, uh, deep work. And um, the deeper we go into, you know, the, the more we go into the depths, the more we we need to go up also to the soul. So this is where it meets the original intent or the, the original structure or the, um, the beginning, when we go back to the beginning of a nation. Um, yeah, then, then we also, of course, we face all these, the, the trauma that, uh, that is, probably in every nation um, in the yeah embedded of every nation and the deeper this is the more we need also the the invocation of the soul um, so we start with the more surface um, things and of course, there's also a lot of tension in the group field to, to, to touch these, these different um, uh, patterns, the emotional ones and the mental ones. As also Kim has said, yes, when we have a lot of polarity in the nation, um, then, we, then we manifest it in the group. It's natural. It's part of our work. And then we need to deal with this and the, 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 the group needs to hold this tension. And as we hold it, as we become more refined, then we pick up the more, the deeper and deeper stuff. And, and, uh, and then we pull down the needed soul forces to throw this uh, more profound light on these deeper and deeper layers. So I would say it's a progressive, yeah, a process um, that goes deeper 
Mm -hmm. This magnet, yeah, we, we are in the beginning, we are a small magnet, um, doing more, staying more on the surface, and then we can penetrate deeper as we go as a group, as we become more coherent and more, more potent. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah? Yes. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, hello. Uh, this is Kit Turin uh, Kit from, the, from the USA. Hello, everyone. And this was uh, an especially um, interesting uh, meditation and lab for me because in addition to being a citizen of the USA I am also um, certainly very in this uh, incarnation Jewish mm -hmm. and um, was uh, brought up with uh, Jewish and still have affiliation definitely with the Jewish community. So one, during this, what was very interesting for me was the realization that when I'm working with the soul, uh, invocation of the soul of the USA, I, I very much bring in a connection uh, of the soul of my nation and, and, and connection soul level with everyone who is invoking that. But I realize I'm not also so much going on beyond that to draw on energies of the hierarchy and other things as well that are um, seeking really to be co-creative with us in the process. Mm -hmm. and, and that was very interesting. I also... Um, Obviously, there's tremendous polarity in our country, and I think also a lot of manipulation. Um, when we were speaking about the Jewish people, when that was in the meditation, and also in um, Elena's talk, you know, it was very interesting to me. But I realized that oh, my my stance as the observer also took on a tone of being the observer as a way of protection mm. not only as a way of sort of what could be more loving detachment or something i was aware of that um arising and uh, also, as far as the process, I was aware of something that has, um, it has always struck me in, in the, you know, ageist wisdom groups that I'm a part of when people are speaking about the, the Jewish people, um, the words beauty and love almost never seem to be incur um, brought up or Included, which is, and I say that because it was, that's quite contrary to my experience of being brought up Jewish. I mean, the other things that were mentioned were, um, you know, I'm, I'm also, I am aware of that as far as uh, superiority or brilliance or things, but um, I, I, and inferiority and, and also you know, fear that can come up. But I'm just, it, I'm just uh, interested that those other qualities um, were things that I was brought up with as far as that were fundamentally in Judaism, not just for the Jewish people, but for towards all people that the, I was brought up with that very much are rarely ever commented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all have our angles huh? and our backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of snapshots need to be done to get a completed point of view. Mm -hmm. But I, I also thought, ah, oh, when, when it was like, oh, when that Jews can sort of um, release mm -hmm. those keys of responsibilities or different things. And then, you know, it could be then whole new opportunities will arise, both potentially for the Jewish people and just for humanity as a whole, too. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We also feel this, you know, uh, uh, when we when we started to understand this, that it is not only the Jews have to change their ways or something like this, and not only those who are trapped in in this anti-Semitism um, trap mm -hmm. um, that need to 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 get over it already. But actually, the new group of world servers, just by coming into existence, they pull something, they, <clears throat> they, they pull all of us uh, out of this, um, this state that is, yeah, is, is complete. And um, so there needs to be this new player on the international on, on the planetary uh, playground to take over these coordinates and then then the energies will will um, harmonize themselves on a different level yeah. <sighs> thank you kit well, thank you, Uta, and to Lane and the whole group of us here today. Yeah. Yeah. See, Rob also. Uh, uh, Helen, yes. Yes. I um, I wanted to add that. Uh, in the meditation and uh, and because uh, the snapshot was about the Jewish people today, I was very much with, um, with the web of the new group of world servers. Um, it, was, uh, it was just a, a fantastic feeling to have this group which I feel so coherent, and us as uh, us as a as a, a, a small example or a small sample of uh, of, of the group of uh, world servers being part of this uh, this big web of workers. Um, it was it was really the main. Uh, um, the main, uh, how would I say, feeling of of a unity that uh, I did not see when uh, when we uh, when we looked at our nations, you know, uh, the, the bodies of our nations and, and all the polarity that's going on and and so on. So my my focus was on the new group of world servers. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's a relief, huh? It is. Yeah. It is. So good that we have the new group of world servers. <laughs> it's so good that we have the new group of world servers, and so good that we work in groups, and that we uh, that that, uh, that that we learn, you know, to be to be those uh, those units. Uh, in in a united uh, united body, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's um, yes, it's a big relief and it's a big joy too. Yeah, I want to add thank you, Helen, uh, for for your very clear and precise presentation from the Jewish people 
it really gives an overview uh, of uh, even if I'm working with the with the if, with you to, uh, every Monday and in the star, uh, Jerusalem star when we are meditating on Jerusalem. But what what you brought today is so important to give a broader view of it. It's I'm looking forward to go deeper into that. Thank you, Helen. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have time for Rob. Uh, Thank you, Ocha. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, this is Rob. This is Rob from Australia. I wanted to comment on the image of the child being invited in to play with the other children because it's such a potent image. Um, and it also has a great deal of explanatory power. It seems to me to, advi to invite reflection, exploratory reflection, both into what, what is happening, the dynamics of what is happening in both situations, the situation where the child is standing apart, partly aloof, partly afraid, and the group at that time is experiencing, I guess, the reflections of those two, those two astral conditions. And then what happens as the child is invited in? How is the child invited in? And what are the dynamics of the situation once the child is invited in? Um, that's all I want to say. I just think that there is a great deal in that image. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rob, for highlighting this. There is one comment from your favorite that I would like to read. Um, sorry, there was echo coming from you, Robert, so I, I muted you. Um, it, uh, Yoka uh, writes, it was for the first time I received clear impressions about Belgium, a complex country, and I could see clearly where I'm, I am still in my own glamour and delusion related to my nation. This helps. Thank you. And I love the presentation about the Jewish people. Hmm. Wow, this is really, uh, really happy to, to receive this comment. Um, in, in a group like this now, like we are, um, because we are well held, we can go deeper, we can receive deeper impressions about our nation. It's really bringing me joy that it's it's working I, and this can be such a opening experience once we 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 it's like piercing an, another level into another layer and then this layer becomes accessible to us so it's a really it's a it's a gift to to have this opportunity to to do this meditation in this way together Great, Joke. Mm -hmm. um, Rosita is, uh, yeah? Yeah, there is one more raised hand. Do we have time? To... Yes. Uh, yes. Um, this is Rosita from Britain. Um, my daughter-in-law is an Iraqi Jew living in Britain, identifying as British, I suppose. Um, I have thought in the past how rich this people uh, in our multicultural deep 
inheritances from other countries um, in their background and um, this kind of harmonizing happens between the countries through this sort of thing. Um, I have a lot of Jewish, it was a lovely um, talk because I now understand them better, but um, Britain is becoming an, a multicultural society, especially after Brexit. We don't really anymore, we're in an identity crisis. And so, um, yes, I'm just reflecting on the richness of having uh, Jewish people and all peoples from other countries themselves to Britain and contribute their own national inherent inheritances to what we are trying to create together. And I think we don't know what that is at the moment, but maybe all will become clear. Thank you. Thank you, Rosita. Yeah, I think we got to the end of our time together. So blessings for all of us on this special time now, the next few special days. And uh, Let's meet together next month. And uh, I'm giving over to Alexander. Thank you, Uta. Thank you, friends. There's a couple more impressions here that I reposted. Um, so we're already running out of time, so I'm not going to read them, but you can. It feels like our group field becomes more and more open for us to learn to listen to each other and the impressions that come as we work together in this lab. And together we learn to hold that tension of group receptivity. So we continue. Much love and happy solstice. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.